Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, my name is Dana. Today's video is gonna be all about what I pack in my makeup travel bag. You're probably noticing we're somewhere a little bit different. If there's an echo, which there most likely is, I apologize, but I thought it would be fun to kind of like actually pack everything into my makeup bag with y'all, kind of tell you why I'm picking this product or that product and what I guess I'm like skipping on. I'm not gonna lie, I do tend to be a little bit of an overpacker, so I'm gonna try my best to kind of keep it to what I'm actually going to use on this trip. Although whenever I do go to visit family, which is what we're doing, I normally keep it really casual, don't really wear makeup whenever we're just hanging around the house, but I'm sure we're going to be going out to eat and going here and there, so obviously it's nice to have like, at least some of my collection with me just so I do have things to get ready with. For skincare, I mean, I may probably pack like my favorite moisturizer and favorite sunscreen, but honestly, I kind of skip on that just because my mom is a skincare junkie herself. So I feel like I can kind of just use whatever she has at the house and that way I don't have to really pack too much. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be going over skincare with y'all because whenever I do return back from Florida, I definitely want to film a skincare routine. I've been seeing a lot of y'all request those in the comments. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into packing my makeup bag. Welcome to my little area of the bathroom vanity. This is where I get ready every single morning. These two little acrylic organizers, they kind of go into rotation quite often. I'll go downstairs and fill a box or basket of makeup in my actual makeup collection and kind of like rotate these products in and out. Lots of them though do have permanent residency in here. For instance, these Stila Glitter and Glows, products that I have like a love affair with, they've basically like marked their territory, but a lot of these products do get rotated. I also do have a stash down below in this little like caddy train case type thing. Um, I probably will be pulling a few products out of there as well. So this is the makeup bag that I'm going to be packing up today. This came in a MAC PR package, but I'm sure you can find lots of things similar to it. I like it because it holds its shape, it's clear, and it's long enough to hold brushes. So whenever I pack my travel makeup bag, I always like to kind of put things in in the order that I would apply them. That way I know I'm not forgetting anything. First thing that I do after my skincare and SPF, I normally go in and prime. This is just a tried and true primer. I always go to it. I think this is actually my second bottle of it. I love this one so much. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I have featured this in a monthly favorites, a yearly favorites, in my recent everyday makeup routine. So we're not gonna talk too much about that. Basically, it's amazing and I love it. I also went ahead and just grab this out of my skincare drawer. It's from Pure, it's the Hydrogel Lift. It's just this really nice cooling and soothing eye balm. So after I go in with primer, I like to apply this on the under eyes just to get some extra hydration and like a boost in there. Another thing that I always like to prep and prime are my lips. This is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. It's just a really nice, clear, shiny, lip enhancer. I just really like it to moisturize my lips. Now this I'm going to use on no makeup days. If you guys caught my everyday makeup routine, it's pretty similar to the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I do still love that, but I recently found this in my drawers and I forgot how much I loved it. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the unisex healthy glow all year hydrating summer tint moisturizer, longest name ever. It has these little spheres in here. When it comes out, it's almost like this interesting like bluish gray tint, but there's like these little color pigments in here and as you rub it out, it just gives you this really nice kind of like bronzy summer glowy tint. Can you see that? So I love to rub this just all over my face and down my neck for a nice kind of like summer bronze glow. So I'm going to pack that not only as like that color booster, but kind of as a additional type of primer. So once my face is all nice and primed, I like to go in and do my brows. So I definitely need to take tweezers. These are from Benefit. I love them because they have a really nice sharp slant as well as like a built-in comb. I'm going to be taking this as well as a little face razor, you know, just for any stubborn eyebrow hairs that I can't really get to. And then for my eyebrow pencils, I love this one from Lottie London. I actually just picked up this new one from Ulta and I've been having the hardest time getting the plastic off. I wear the shade medium. You just have a spoolie on one end and then the actual pencil on the other. And then I always like to go in with a second brow pencil. I think I've been using number four. Four, though yeah so I'm gonna use the benefit goof proof brow pencil in number four this is one of the brow pencils that kind of has this triangular tip to it rather than you know just like the precise point 
So that for brows as well as, of course, the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I cannot live without this. After brows, I like to go in with foundation. Clearly, I really like NARS foundations. NARS Sheer Glow is a favorite as well as their newer, oh, go back in there. This is the Longwear Radiant, I believe. Actual Radiant Longwear Foundation. Both of these are in the shade Punjab, which are a little bit too light right now. Luckily, I have a small kind of like sample size of a deeper shade, so I'll probably Probably be taking that but this has been the foundation that I've been wearing for probably like the last month solid I would say this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I have mine in the shade 5.5 so that will be my foundation for the trip now to add some extra shimmer in there sometimes I like to go in and either just mix this in with my foundation or I'll apply it on top. I really love this for a body highlighter as well. If you're looking for a more affordable option, but something that's not quite as pigmented, the Makeup Revolution, this one is in Luminous Gold, but it's just called the Liquid Highlighter. As you can see, even in packaging, they are pretty similar. My two favorites are Sunlight and then I think Moonlight, right? Yeah, this one is Moonlight. I think this is actually going to be the one that I take with me. This one is just so, so pretty. The glow that you can create with this product is just stunning. Like if you apply this on your shoulders, mix it in with your foundation, just use it as your actual highlighter. I just love this product. So I will be taking that. After foundation, I always like to go in with concealer. This product I just recently hauled from Ulta. I'm not quite sure which video will be going up first, but this really took me by surprise. It really brightens up the under eyes. It's from Catrice. It's the Retouch Brightening 18 Hour Moisturizing Concealer. And it's just this kind of like crank up brush tip applicator. And it has a little bit of this like lavender pinky hue that really just helps to brighten up any sallowness that you have on the under eyes. And then as my actual concealer, I can't stop using this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have mine in the shade Light Neutral. I'm probably going to take this and I've been using this ColourPop one like crazy, as you can see. I'm almost done with it, but I've kind of been liking to mix both of these Urban Decay ones, the Naked Skin with the All Nighter, just because I find the Naked Skin Concealer a little bit more hydrating on the under eyes. Now to actually set my under eyes, I'm going to pack the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because I have these powders to set my eyes, as well as these contour products just to go in and bronze and contour the skin. And I think this palette is going to fit perfectly in this bag. Yeah, see? Plus, it'll kind of help to maintain the structure of the bag. So I do have a contouring powder, but I always like to have something to kind of like warm up and bronze the skin. Now, I can go in with like a shimmery bronzer to do that, but I think I'm actually going to pack this palette because I can use a mirror to do my makeup, but then I have all these blush shades. All of these are from Makeup Geek. I feel like Makeup Geek has kind of like been forgotten. Wow, the fingerprints. I love this assortment of blushes. This is just so nice to add more warmth to the skin. And this shade here just adds a really nice shimmery glow. This one is called Romance. This shade here is, I think, Chivalry. Yes. And then some of these, like, they look a little bit understated, but on your face, they are just so pretty, especially if you're fans of, like, these nice, warm, peachy blushes. I love them. This one is called Infatuation. I feel like everyone used to be obsessed with these, and then suddenly they just, like, fell under the radar, and I'm just sad because I love them so much. Now, I realize I just packed a crap ton of blushes, but I swear, I can't go anywhere without a Laura Geller blush. This one is in Sunswept. I've talked about this so many times, but I mean, I just can't. The color is amazing, especially if you just love the look of like really nice glowy cheeks. So I have to pack it. For highlighter, this should come as no shock. The Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Rose Gold. I like to go in with this. And then as a topper, I will probably take Persona Zuma Highlighter. This combination is everything. You can find these online at Ulta as well as on personacosmetics.com. But I mean, just look at that. Oh, it is so good, especially like on medium skin tones. I adore it. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to keep it super, super simple and I'm just going to pack one of these. Not only is the size of these super convenient, but the pigmentation and the shade ranges in here are beautiful. So I think I'm going to, I mean, I'm sure you can already guess. Believe it or not, I've been using this smoky palette a ton. I feel like if I can fit it all into this bag, I can take both, right? 
I don't know which one I want because I love the option of that black, but I'll definitely get more use out of this. Okay, so I'm going to pack the Warm Brown Obsessions. And then for mascara, I really only need some mascara for my lower lash line, and I have been loving this one from Catrice. It's the Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara. It is in waterproof. I love the brush of this just because it has really stiff bristles, so I can go in and really make sure that I separate my lower lashes. Now, for my lips, this is where I feel like I always end up packing the most. I always like to take a red lip option and then of course a nude. So for my nude, I'm going to be taking the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better lip liner. It's actually a lip liner stain in the shade Buff Nude. For my red, um, I really like both of these. No, I'm going to go in with this. This is NARS Mariachi, Mariachi, however you say it. And it's just a really nice true red. My favorite red combo is to go in with this and then take the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick, shade Bang Bang. This is easily my favorite red liquid lipstick ever. It's so nice and bright and it just really makes your teeth look white. So there is my red option. And now for like my everyday lip, I'm going to take the It Cosmetics I showed you and then of course, Max Mama Star. I just love that combo. Um, Ulta Sweet Tea. This is what I had on in the intro of my video. And just to take more of a pinky toned one, I'm going to take another Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Spoiler Alert. I feel like this is the perfect kind of like dusty, rosy mauve shade. That would be great on so many different skin tones. So those are going to be my lip options. I kind of want to take one more because I mean, I'm crazy. Okay, actually, no, I am going to take Buxom White Russian because I use this one pretty much all the time. I've kind of been skipping on eyeliner lately, but just in case I do decide I want a tight line or anything, I'm going to pack the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Gel Liner. This one is in black. It is the blackest, most longest wearing black gel liner I've ever used. For then I realized I do just want like a general face powder. I love this one just because it doesn't make your skin feel cakey. It's very, very weightless and just natural looking on the skin. This is the MAC Next to Nothing Press Powder. I have mine in the shade Medium Dark. Now for actual face brushes, I'm only going to pack I think three. So this is the Smashbox Sheer Powder. I like to use this for my actual powder brush. Clearly these will be washed tonight. And then I also have the Smashbox Buildable Cheek. I cannot say enough about this brush. It is amazing for blush, for contour. I just love it. So honestly, I'll kind of go back in and just use this for blush and contour. I'll just like dust off whatever remaining powder I have. But at home, I do have a separate brush like for each, but for packing purposes, I'm only going to take those. And then I do need a highlighting brush. So I'm going to be packing the Morphe M509. And then for eye brushes, let's see. For my fluffy crease, I have the Morphe M502. And then more of a detail, the Morphe M507. And then I always like to have some sort of I'm kind of embarrassed I'm showing you all these dirty brushes, but you know, it is what it is. For an actual lid brush, this one is just from e.l.f. And then for a tiny pencil, I love this guy. This is the Morphe M515. That's really it that I'm going to take for brushes. I feel like whatever I need to do with my eyes, I'll be able to do with those three guys there. So everything fits right here into this bag. Let me see if I can lay my brushes in here nicer. I do have a little like small roll that I may actually pack these brushes into instead. That way the bristles aren't getting squished. Okay, so there is everything packed into my travel makeup bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you did, I would love if you gave me a thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in the future. As I mentioned, whenever I return back from vacation, I do plan on filming my skincare routine. I do think I'm gonna do like a, a and PM one separately or if there's just one that you're more interested in definitely let me know down below in the comments hope you guys all enjoyed if you haven't already please take the time to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one bye